Welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. In this episode, we are going to solve a problem, a mechanics problem. So let's check our problem statement. A light bar, that is bar AB, supports a 15 kg block at its midpoint C. So we can see that the bar from A to B has a block of 15 kilograms suspended at its center. Now, rulers at A and B rest against frictionless surfaces. You can see that on the surface of the wall we have a ruler and at A we also have a ruler. And a horizontal cable AD is attached at A. So this is a cable AD. So we are to determine the tension in cable AD and the reactions at A and B. So the fact that we are having ruler ruling against the surface at A and B, we are going to have reactions over there. So we have to determine those reactions and the tension in cable a d so straight away this is very simple let's get started and see how we will solve this problem so our solution so since this involves diagram let's try to get our free body diagram from this problem so this is the main body that we are interested in together with the cable a d so let's try to produce a free body diagram by detaching it from its supports. I'm going to have something like this, this way. Are we okay? So let's take this bar as a representation of the bar AB. So we have a middle suspension of the weight so we will call this as the weight of this structure so we will represent it by w let's look at the reactions here we have a ruler so a ruler is going to have a single reaction and the force is going to push it this way so it will push it from the wall because the ruler is pushing against the wall the reaction is going to react in the opposite direction the same way at point A, we are having a ruler and the ruler is pushing against the wall, it is going to react upwards. So what we have here is we have reaction upward from the A part. You can also see that this cable AD, we are to determine the tension in the cable. So that is also going to be known here as this cable. Let's assume we are cutting through the cable and we'll call it tension in cable AD. So this is the free body diagram. We can include our dimension. So from here to here, we have 350 mm. And from this part, the center to this part, we are also having 250 mm. The same thing happens to this part. We are also having the distance to be 250 mm. So this represents the free body diagram. So straight away, we can also do some analysis for the weight. What do we know? We know that the weight of an object, remember this object has its mass given as 15, but the mass is not a force we have to convert the mass into a force which is what the weight and that is going to be the mass times what gravity so the weight of the block is going to be 15 kg multiplying acceleration due to gravity that is 9.81 and we are going to get the weight to be 147.15 newton so this is the value of the weight w are we okay? So we have it over there. Now we want to determine both the tension in AD and the reaction. Let me call this reaction as B. 
we have reaction B to determine. We also have reaction A to find. Therefore, we also have tension in AD. So three parameters. First, let's apply the summation of forces on the y equal to zero such that all upward forces are positive. So with this, when we look at the free body diagram, the upward forces are A. So A is upward in a positive direction. We also have the weight as a vertical force coming down, which is going to be negative. And that is going to sum to zero. That's the two vertical forces that we have. So we know the value for W. So we are going to say our reaction at A is going to be 147.15 newtons. Are we okay? So we now have the reaction at A. We can also apply summation of forces such that X is equal to zero. We will take forces in this direction to be positive. This is also going to show us that the horizontal forces we have TAD, which is tension in the rope AD. Remember, the tension is also a force. It is in the positive direction. B is also in the negative direction. That should give us zero. Let's call this equation one. So I'll call this equation one. Now we have to apply moment. From the body, this part is A. We also have this part as B. I would like to take moment at A because I have two or more or unknown forces. So I'll take moment, summation of moment about A, such that anti-clockwise is positive and is equal to zero. So here, what do we do? Let's look at the force analysis. All the forces at the A, they are going to run to zero. They have no moment about point A. So I'm going to consider the weight and force B. Are we okay? So now, when I consider B, B is moving in the anti-clockwise direction about point A. So that is positive. And it is going to give me the force, which is B, multiplying the distance. You can check from the main question that the distance from B to the moment center, the perpendicular distance from B, so the moment center is given us 350. Are we okay? So that is going to be B multiplying 350. And the weight is also going clockwise. So that is going to be a negative force. And we are going to have the weight. We know the value for the weight. That is 147.15. And what is the distance from the weight? So we also have the distance from the weight from the weight to the moment center that is also giving us what 250 so we are going to also have 250 and equate everything to zero from here we can make b the subject so this is going to be 350 b should equal to 36787.5 meaning my b is going to be 105 Point one one newton. So we also know the reaction at B, which is hundred and five point one one newtons. So from equation two, we can also find the tension. From equation two, we can see that tension TAD is going to be equal to B, which means that tension in AD root AD is going to be the same as 105.11 newton so the tension is balancing the reaction so this is so true let's make analysis on the system pay attention the reaction and the tension let's look at it we can see that the b which is the reaction at b is equal to b is 100 and the rope which tension this way is also equal to TAD. To keep this system in equilibrium, this should balance this such that there will be no what, um, shaking in the system. The same way we can see that the weight as it is coming down, it is also equal to the reaction at what A. So it's also equal to the reaction at A. 
such that the system will be what? Well balanced. So this answers the question for the tension. So we can conclude that A, the tension in cable AD is 105.11 Newton and the B part we have to calculate the reactions at A. So reaction at A is 147.15 Newton and reaction at B is also 105.11 Newton, Newton. Thank you for watching this simple episode and trying to stay with us. Kindly subscribe to the channel, like and check out for the next episode for the next example. Thank you.